guys and welcome back to my channel 2018 has just been like one hell of a ride you guys like it's been super crazy this past year I've just like spent trying to find who I am as a person because I had lost that the years prior so this video is going to be 18 lessons that I have learned in 2018 this video might end up being a little bit cheesy but i do hope you guys do enjoy the list of things that i have learned this year if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it and let's go ahead and jump into the video okay so the first thing that i have learned this year and I will continue to learn throughout the years is to be yourself. That is the main thing that I have learned this year. Number two is something that I kind of created as my mantra this year and I kept it pinned on my Twitter page so that every time I go on it I like remind myself and it's just a nice little reminder to myself. But number two is be obsessed with becoming the best version of yourself. Self-love is so important these days, and I feel like we kind of forget to love ourselves. Number three, I have learned to focus on my health and my mental health. I struggle with really bad anxiety, so that's something that I have come to recognize and accept this year. And that kind of ties into four, that I've accepted my anxiety as it is, and I have learned to cope with it and how to deal with it on a daily basis. Five, I'm very proud of myself for this one because this is something that I've had as a goal since I was in elementary school and that is to not eat meat. Like for the longest time in elementary school, I've always wanted to be a vegetarian and that wasn't something that my parents allowed me to do or I don't know, it was like weird, but like, yeah. So this is like my fourth attempt and it's really sticking. I'm very proud of myself. I haven't eaten meat in three months now. So this is the longest I've gone and I haven't had any cravings for it, which is like a blessing because the past few times that I've tried to stop eating meat, I've always caved in and fell back into consuming it so I'm really proud of myself for this time for not craving it. Number six, everything is all about the mindset. So from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed at night, everything is up to you. Your emotions, your thoughts, your perceptions, your reactions, every single moment is all on your mindset. So if you have a positive mindset, positive outcomes. Number seven, this year I have learned that friends are not permanent. The ones that you never think will leave you eventually will leave you. And that's okay because friends come into our life at a point in time and they teach us things. Some stay and some go. That's just how life works. Number eight, and with that, I've learned not to take people for granted. To show people that you love them and you care for them. That is a very important thing that I have learned this year. This year I have found the love of my life and I truly appreciate him for everything he does for me and for Chewy. So thank you, babe. I love you. Number 10. This year I have fell back in love with makeup and YouTube and I'm so happy to be back after over a year's worth of hiatus. Number 11. I just want to let you guys know how, that I'm extremely grateful for you guys because of your amazing support and I want to be able to give back to you guys so as soon as we reach 10,000 on Instagram I want to do a giveaway in honor of you guys your support just it seriously means so much to me and I just want to remind you guys that if you guys ever need someone to talk to literally about anything it doesn't have to be makeup related you guys are more than welcome to reach out to me and I will respond to you guys and I will Help you with whatever you're going through or if you have a question about makeup that's fine anything i will talk to you guys and i love talking to you guys so don't be afraid to reach out to me number 12 i've learned not to let things bother me i've come to accept that life happens and instead of getting upset i try to find a way around 
try to find a solution and just keep pushing forward. 13. This year I have experimented with photo shoots. I've done about three or four photo shoots this year. It really made me feel more confident as a person with myself, so I really enjoyed doing those. 14. I've learned to stop dropping my Starbucks drinks because Starbucks doesn't have insurance plans and I can't afford to, to keep dropping drinks, so yeah. 15. At the beginning of this year, I was really bad when it came to drinking Starbucks and sodas. Like, I, I would literally have one every day. Sometimes I would have Starbucks twice a day, and that was really bad for my health. So, I've learned to minimize my poor habits to at least once a week, and I'm proud of myself for that. Number 16. I am so grateful that I got to go to one of the last Warped Tour shows. It ended this year, so I was very grateful to go to that with my best friend and my boyfriend. It was super fun. It was like one of the first things I went to as like a music festival, and I've always enjoyed them. It was like a, such a cool like idea to like go and see like all your favorite bands and one thing, and it was kind of cheap, so I'm really sad to see that ending, but it'll be definitely be something that I'm not going to forget. Number 17. This year I got to see like five of my favorite bands and I was really excited that I got to do that. I love going to concerts and it's just like a way to like kind of like release all your emotions and energy and have a good time. At the beginning of this year I got to see A Day to Remember which is like one of my all time favorite bands and that I've been listening to for the past decade. It was one of the shows for their 15 year tour and it was amazing. It was my first A Day to Remember show ever and it was amazing. I also got to experience being in a mosh pit for the first time so that was pretty cool and it was overall just like an amazing experience for me. The next band I got to see after them was The Of My Cinnamon with Bless The Fall and that show was pretty rad. I've also been listening to Of My Cinnamon for the past decade and they're pretty cool and it's kind of cool to see them like grow up as a band. And I also got to meet Bo Buchanan of Bless the Fall that night as well so that was pretty neat. And then back in September we went and saw Jimmy Eat World and that was such an amazing show. Like everything, it was just, I don't know, like I felt like euphoric watching their show. Like it was amazing. And it's one of Angel's favorite bands. I got those for his birthday so he really enjoyed that. And then uh, in October we got to go see All Time Low for the second time and it was more like a um, intimate show, it was like a small gathering show. I had an amazing time and I saw them at Warp Tour and that was just amazing. Like that's like another band that I just like love the lyrics and they know how to put me in a better mood and I've also been listening to them for the past like 10-15 years that they've been around and it's just like a cool experience to like watch them play and like I could literally just watch them play for like ever. And then in November we got to go see Blink-182. This is the second time that I've seen them. The first time I saw them was at the Cosmo 2012. It's funny because Angel actually went to that show and this is way before we met because we met like a year and a half ago, but we ended up going to the same show that year in 2012. And I actually told him that I liked his shirt that he was wearing that day. So it was kind of a funny coincidence that now we're dating, so. That's funny, but Blink-182 was amazing. We actually got the opportunity to do the meet and greet, and that was amazing. So we got to meet Travis Barker, Mark Hoppus, and Matt Skiba, and that was pretty cool. Like, it was like a quick 30 second meeting, but it was pretty cool. Like, we got signatures, and yeah, so thank you to Marina for the opportunity to meet them. And lastly, number 18 on the list is that I got a few opportunities to meet some really cool people. So back in February, I was actually at one of Angel's shows there to support his band like at that point we were just friends so I was there to support his show and Lord behold that Corey Taylor was there to support his niece and her band and that was so amazing like 
I've been listening to Corey Taylor since 8th grade, so I've been listening to them for the past 12-13 years. Their, his music is just amazing, like, I love his music in Slipknot, and I love his music in Stone Sour, like, his voice is just, like, so... I love it. Meeting him, that was so nerve-wracking because he, like, played such a huge part in my life and helped me get through a lot of shit. A lot of shit. So, of course, whenever I meet someone like famous, like, I just keep saying the same thing over and over again. And I realized this when we met um, Travis Barker and Matt, Mark Hoppus and Matt Skiba. I did the same thing with them too. So it was like, ugh, like, come on, Lena, like, you can function. You could say more than just the same sentence over and over again, but. Anyways, yeah, that was really cool to meet him. Like, I got his autograph and a photo with him, so that was pretty cool. And then the next one was in March when I met Bo Boken. That was a cool experience. Felt like I kind of annoyed him because I was like, wait, I just want a picture. But yeah, he was kind enough to give me a picture instead of just walking away, so thank you. The next opportunity, I got to meet Bella Thorne, and that was pretty cool. She's a pretty down-to-earth person. Thank you to the person that gave me the opportunity to meet her. That just kind of wraps it up for 2018 for me. I've learned a lot throughout this year, and it's, like I said, it's been one hell of a ride, literally. I've, like, had so many positive things happen throughout the year, and then, like, this past week, has just been this like emotional roller coaster. Like I got my car accident. I got some really bad news regarding someone in my family. Yeah, and then I just had my period on top of that. So it's just like a full week worth of like emotions and depression, and it was just really sucky. But then I was just like listening to some day to remember yesterday, so that really helped pick me up and put me in a better mood. So I'm glad that I'm feeling better mentally back on track even though that I still have to deal with my car accident and the bad news so it's just life and I feel like things can only get better from here so if you've made it this far through my video thank you guys for listening to me ramble about this past year and I love you guys and I hope you guys had an amazing 2018 and you guys should definitely comment down below what things have you learned throughout 2018 because I kind of want to know what you guys have experienced throughout this year we can just share and bond with each other so 